Peaky Blinder fans are wondering who Toby Kirkup played on the show. Nobody had expected the news of Toby Kirkup's death. Toby had appeared in shows such as Peaky Blinders and Emmerdale. It's no surprise that many people want to learn more about this Peaky Blinders star. In this video, we'll look at which character was played by Toby Kirkup in Peaky Blinders. In addition, we'll go over everything you need to know about this Peaky Blinders star. Actor Toby Kirkup died alone at home last year on August 29, 2020, after being discharged from Huddersfield Royal Infirmary. Toby sought medical attention after experiencing chest pains and tingling sensations in his arms. He was also plagued by gastritis. He was discharged and returned to his home after a period of medical treatment. Unfortunately, Toby's condition deteriorated and he began to vomit, indicating that he was having a cardiac arrest. According to his post-mortem report, he died of natural causes. Even though his post-mortem report stated that he died of natural causes, they were concerned about his treatment and an inquest was ordered to get more information. Toby Kirkup portrayed which character in Peaky Blinders? Peaky Blinders' hit show, Peaky Blinders, starred Toby Kirkup as a police sergeant. Kirkup took on this role in the show in 2016. Toby has worked as an actor, extra, singer, pianist, TV presenter, writer, and radio presenter in addition to being an actor. Toby studied drama at Huddersfield University. After graduating from university, he worked for a variety of small jobs that allowed him to work his way up the industry ladder. Along with Peaky Blinders, the actor had previously appeared in ITV's Emmerdale and as James Scottson in The Mill, a gritty Channel 4 period drama. Peaky Blinders Season 6 has finally arrived on Netflix in the United Kingdom. The Birmingham Gangster Saga returned to BBC One and BBC iPlayer earlier this year, but the rest of the world has been waiting for more. The sixth season of Stephen Knight's series saw Tommy Shelby or Cillian Murphy confront his demons, both past and present. What happened in Season 6? Lizzie leaves Tommy due to his affair with Milton and takes his son from his first marriage with her in the Peaky Blinders series finale. Tommy later blows up the mansion where they live to make way for working-class housing. Later in the episode, Duke is assigned to assassinate Billy Grade and Arthur fights the IRA, eventually killing McKee and avenging Polly's death. Meanwhile, Tommy travels to French Newfoundland to finalize the opium deal with Michael and a few of Nelson's thugs. A bomb is planted in Tommy's car, but it malfunctions and explodes Nelson's gang instead. Tommy shoots Michael in the eye before meeting with Solomons, who's taken over Nelson's opium trade in Boston. Tommy departs in a gypsy caravan after a vague farewell to his family. A month later, he's about to commit suicide when he's visited by Ruby's ghosts. He inquires if he's already dead, and she responds, You're not dead. You're not even sick. She says he let the fire go out. Light the fire again and get warm, and you will see that you must live. Tommy approaches his campfire and takes up a piece of newspaper that he was using to burn kindling. He sees a photograph of the Mosley's wedding in Berlin in it. He sees both Dr. Halford and the second doctor he saw for second opinion at the wedding. Tommy discovers he was given a false diagnosis after visiting Halford's home and confronting him. Before killing Halford, a bell rings and Tommy checks his watch, noting that it's 11 a.m., the 11th hour. Armistice, peace at last, Tommy says, recalling the end of World War I and spares Halford's life. Tommy returns to his caravan only to discover that Halford's man is set to fire to it. With a renewed sense of purpose, he mounts his horse and rides away. Shelby's ongoing efforts to stop the Mosleys are expected to serve as the basis for a planned Peaky Blinders film. Knight first announced the news in January 2021, at the same time the show's cancellation was announced. Since then, the focus has understandably been on the show's final season, but Knight has now dropped a few hints about what to expect from the film. Unfortunately, it's far too early to set a release date at this point, with the TV series only recently wrapping up and film production not set to begin until the beginning of 2023. With that in mind, it appears likely that we'll have to wait a couple of years for the film to arrive, with a release date around the beginning of 2024 being the most likely. While that may appear to be a long time away, fans can take comfort in the fact that it'll be a shorter gap than the other one between seasons 5 and 6. The big question was whether Tommy Shelby would survive the series' conclusion, but creator Stephen Knight had already confirmed that Cillian Murphy would reprise the role in some capacity in the film. When asked if Tommy and his brother Arthur would remain in the Peaky Blinders universe after season 6, Knight told Digital Spy, It's impossible to say yet, but the film? Yes. It's too early to say who else might appear, but Peaky Blinders has introduced a slew of iconic characters over the years. 
and would expect many of them to make an appearance. Would expect the actors who play Shelby family members to appear, with Paul Anderson, Sophie Rundle, Finn Cole, Natasha O'Keefe, and Harry Curtin among those who could. Season 6 newcomer Conrad Kahn is eager to reprise his role as Erasmus Duke Shelby, but it's unclear whether this will happen at this time. Regarding a possible return, Kahn told RadioTimes.com, I hope so, I hope so. Stephen Knight hasn't spoken to me about it. I don't think he even knows in his mind what he wants to take it next, but yeah, who knows? Then there are big name stars like Tom Hardy, Anya Taylor Joy, Stephen Graham, and Sam Claflin, at least a couple of whom would expect to see, with a few high profile additions possible. Sir Oswald Mosley, Claflin, and his wife Deanna, Amber Anderson, are still at large and at the pinnacle of their power. After being killed in the series finale, Michael Gray or Finn Cole, Billy Great, Emma Chase Scanlon, and Captain Swing, Laura McKee, Charlene McKenna are the only characters who cannot return unless it's a ghost or in a flashback. What happens in the Peaky Blinders film? While official plot details are being kept under wraps for the time being, Stephen Knight has provided a few hints as to what to expect. He specifically revealed that the film will be set during World War II, claiming that he's always wanted the saga to end with a conflict. I know what's going to happen in those stories, and it's about a sort of untold story that happened in the Second World War, which Peakies are going to be involved in, Knight said. Holy Gray, played by the late Helen McCrory, will also remain a fundamental part of the film, he said. More information is not available at this time, but there are several paths the film could potentially take, and it'll be interesting to see which one Knight chooses. Given that Tommy's still alive at the end of Peaky Blinders and is not, as he had been led to believe, terminally ill, the stage is set for a massive comeback. The upcoming film will feature a number of antagonists, including the newly married Sir Oswald Mosley and Lady Diana Mosley, who appear to be behind Dr. Halford's false diagnosis. Tommy fighting the British fascist and Nazi Union? Please, yes! We also have Jack Nelson, James Frischevel, and Gina Gray, and a Taylor Joy live. So it's possible that they'll want Tommy to pay for what happened to Michael and their plan. Meanwhile, there's several Shelby family members who are still alive and could return. We'll just have to wait and see who it is. We anticipate that there will be a rivalry between Erasmus Duke Shelby, Tommy's illegitimate son, and his now exiled uncle, Finn Shelby. Who will direct the Peaky Blinders film? Anthony Byrne is expected to direct the Peaky Blinders film. While not officially confirmed, the director said of the film in an interview with The Times, Myself, Steve, and Cillian are talking about it right now. It's the next job for us and will continue the story of Tommy Shelby. Peaky Blinders Season 5 and 6 were directed entirely by Byrne. And that's all for today's video. Please share your thoughts on the series finale. Who do you think will feature in the upcoming film? Do let us know in the comments below.